Hi, my name is Ken Cashin, and I'm a photographer from Bloomington, Illinois. I'd like to show you how I produced the handmade limited edition photo book, Panoramic Tree Portraits. It features photos of some of my favorite trees. It also has quotes about trees and nature from various authors. And I've added a few of my own thoughts as well. This is a concertina or accordion style bound book. It has eight photographs on the front and there's one long horizontal panoramic image on the back. It also has text pages that I've sewn in to the front and the back. This is not meant to be a tutorial, but rather an overview of the major steps involved in making this book. I'm going to photograph this tree in 12 separate exposures, starting from the base of the tree and shooting all the way up until I'm shooting overhead. I'll bring the photos back into the studio, open them up and sort them out in Adobe Bridge, then merge them together in Photoshop to make one vertical panoramic image. The back of the book is being printed using an Epson P800 archival inkjet printer. The book is being scored with a bone folder along carefully designed registration marks. I am now folding the book along the scored lines that I made with the bone folder. I'm attaching the eight photos to the front of the book using a double-sided archival adhesive. This is one of the text pages that will be sewn into the book. I have six pages at the front and four at the back. I'm punching holes in the text pages so that I can then sew them into the book. Here I'm gluing up one of the cover boards that I will then attach the cover material to. Boards like this will go on the front and the back of the book. I'm tapping the corners to round them off. This is a custom made debossing die of my initials. It goes on the front of the book in the lower right hand corner. Now I'm ready to apply the glue to the front and back of the book and attach the book to the book covers. Here is the case for the book that I designed, printed, cut, and prepared for gluing. I'm gluing up the case now and getting ready to assemble it. This is the finished book. The book measures 4 by 8 inches when closed and 8 by 53 when fully extended. I hope you've enjoyed this video and possibly be inspired to make your own book. I'll try to answer any questions you have and be happy to discuss your interest in buying one of the 25 copies of this book. Thanks for watching.